nervous on a daily basis. I'm very nervous. I'm nervous from the time my show is signed to the second okay. I get on stage. Or to the second I say, good morning or good evening, ladies and gentlemen. That's my crack word. So the, day, so the second I've cracked that one sentence right, I'm very comfortable. But till that very moment, I'm filled with nervousness, a very happy nervousness. Because for me, I love what I do so much that every single time I'm on stage, it's something new for me. It's very exciting, but at the same time, like I'm, I'm, I'm a huge fangirl of Shah Rukh Khan, for example. But when I'm on stage, I have to be equal, as you said, because I'm sharing the same space. So then I have to disconnect my emotions towards being his fangirl and being a professional. And that's where the line is drawn. I can't forget, you know, that I have a responsibility on my shoulder. And that becomes very important. So every time, whether it's industry leaders, uh, whether it's international delegations, whether it's stars from Bollywood or superstars from uh, other, you know, uh, film industries, you still have to be very sure that you're doing a job at the end of the day. And it's something that you love to do. Uh, I would definitely like go backstage and blush and, you know, go like, oh my God, I'm such a fan. But I'll do all of that. When I'm on stage, I'm doing my job. I really liked what um, Abhay said. He was the last speaker for today. Uh, he said something very interesting. He said, uh, this business, uh, people are going to invest in your business only if you're a maverick. So either you be a magician or a complete madman. So I think this world requires a lot of magicians and a lot of madmen or mad women with some crazy ideas. And I think um, the day I crack my crazy idea, I'll have my own business. I think I would really like to dwell upon what Cindy said. Uh, Cindy brought something very interesting to our knowledge, you know, this whole, uh, I would say this whole, you know, um, the subject of how certain topics in our country are actually subdued. We don't talk about it, but it happens. So I think sex tech was a great topic to actually sit and unlock your brain. So maybe I will connect with her at some point, get to know a little more. And more of course, she's a very inspiring lady. I'm not, to be honest, I didn't realize that I could be standing on a platform like this inspiring other people. I think it's great. It's a great profession because it's one profession where you can speak your heart. You can connect with a lot of people. It's a blessing to do what you do. I go by a hashtag. Uh, or a tagline which I've registered called paid to talk. So imagine we're talking all the time, we're interacting all the time, but the most, the, the tiniest thing that we do, imagine I get paid to do that, and it's quite a lot. But standing on that position, I think um, what I do differently is that if there's a script given to me, I disrupt that script. I take what's important from that script, I take the juice out of it, but say it the way I want to say it. Because the minute this is script, you know, your brain freezes. And it's very important for you to just breathe into what you want to say. Because at the end of the day, I'm not talking to a wall. I'm talking to another person. And if I can't connect with you, with what I have in my mind, then the purpose of me being there is lost. <laughs>